we can flip that short sale. Let's say we take that $150,000 house, we negotiate the price down to 130. I have the right to buy it for 130. Market says it's worth 150. Who do you think should get the spread? You. I like you. <laughs> that's what I think too. If I take a house that's worth 150,000 and I'm able to negotiate a deal where I can buy it with a $20,000 discount for 130, I think I should get the difference. I think if you can do that, you should get the difference. So I've already made $4,500 splitting my commission with my real estate friend. Then I've got a $20,000 spread. By the way, I'm not even talking about fixer houses. I'm talking about just straight up retail discount. Wells Fargo and most banks have an 18% number in their formula that says if I take whatever the current market value is the house and I subtract 18%, they'll usually take up to 18%. Now they may negotiate with you a little bit, but that's really what their threshold is. So if you want a deeper discount than 18%, you need to demonstrate why the current market value is lower. Like there's no point on just negotiating on, I want it cheaper, stomp my feet, I want the house cheaper. It's, hey, the house really isn't worth 150 because it has an atomic, a uh, weapons storage tank in the backyard that leaks and it's got you know raccoons in the attic that I'm gonna have to get rid of and here's some evidence of that and by the way here's some pictures of doors missing and the walls busted out and there were some tweakers that came through here and lit some fires in the living room and etc so it's really not worth 150 it's really worth less than that and then you can subtract your 18 percent does that make sense so they're willing to give you a discount because they know it's a short sale